Here's something most people get wrong. They think doing 100 crunches is going to burn belly fat. It won't. But here's what does happen. When you build a stronger core, you move better in every other exercise. You're going to lift more weight. You're going to burn more total calories. And when the fat finally comes off, you're going to have something to show underneath. Your core has three major jobs. We'll start with the first one, which is resisting extension. That basically means keeping your ribs and hips stacked instead of letting your lower back arch when you move. If you can master this one thing, your whole core strength changes. So for this, you could do something like an ab wheel rollout. Start on your knees, keep your ribs tucked down, and slowly roll out until you feel your abs get stretched. Go as far out as you can without letting your lower back arch and then pull yourself back in. If that feels too hard, then you can do the exact same thing using a stability ball. It's the same idea, just a little bit easier to control. And if you don't have any equipment at all, you can just do a long lever plank. Move your elbows a few inches further forward than normal and just hold that position while keeping your abs locked in. And if you start shaking like a leaf, that means it's working. Next, we've got the second function, which is going to be resisting rotation. This is what's going to keep your core stable when you're pressing, pulling, or carrying weight on one side. Most people completely ignore this one, and it's a big reason why their waist never really looks tighter even when they lose the weight. To train this, you can do something like a 